Welcome back, everybody. I'm just kidding. I won't be doing a crappy Irish accent as an American because I know how much that rustles the Irish people's jimmies. Uh, but anyway, welcome back to another episode of Camouflage of the World. I'm Mike B. And today we are going to be talking about the Irish DPM pattern. So this is unusually hard to find in the United States. Um, I really had to dig and figure out a place to get one in decent shape and uh, managed to do that. This, this pattern has been requested for years on my channel and I was trying and trying and trying and finally was able to grab a, an example to make a video on. So today we're gonna be talking about it. Um, it's a really sweet pattern. I'm really glad to have it. So without further ado, we'll kind of get into the brief history and show you a little bit of the pattern. So in 1960, the Irish military went away from like the, the wool battle dress uniform that it had been using and wore a just an olive green uniform for the next uh, 60 or not 60, 40-ish years, <clears throat> almost 50. And then in the late 1990s, the Irish military realized that, hey, maybe it's a good idea to adopt a camouflage pattern like most of the other um, Western militaries and most of the Eastern. Pretty much everybody in the world at that point that had a development country and a decent military had camouflage uniforms. So um, in the late 1990s, specifically 1999, late of that year, the uh, Irish military began issuing this to their soldiers serving abroad. And it was a team effort, actually, by um, the Irish military and the Belgian company, Saintex, or I'm probably butchering that, but they also make a lot of stuff for the Belgian military. They both came up and designed this pattern, and these were actually manufactured. You can see that this one was 2003, so it's a relatively early example. Now, despite its name being DPM, or Disruptive Pattern Material, it has no relation to the British DPM that we're all familiar with. Um, but it's technically a disruptive pattern, and there we go. So, uh, but you can tell, like, there's a lot of similarities in the actual cut of this uniform. I don't know, it's probably been updated since then. I'm pretty sure, I'm almost positive they still use this pattern, unless they're going to multicam like every other cool kid in the world nowadays. But um, I'm pretty sure the Irish military still uses the um, thing they uh, they call as a joking thing, but the Irish have a good sense of humor. That's why I started the video off like that. Um, they had, they call this patty flage. It's a common nickname for it. No, oh, we're going to put on our patty flage and go out and roam among green pastures. Um, little, again, I told you I wouldn't do it, but I did. See? Ha ha, ha ha. I have a sense of humor too. Anyway, <laughs> anyway um, so yeah, it's called patty flage and I'm pretty sure there's a desert variant as well. I'll try to get some of that, but it's a really neat pattern. So they, it was developed and kind of made in Belgium. It looks, it, it looks like a lot um, of Central European patterns. Specifically, what I think is it looks like the French CCE pattern um, mixed with the Serbian or Yugoslavian M89 pattern. That's what it looks like to me. So um, it's got, it's a four color pattern. If you haven't noticed that yet, it's got the black, you know, reddish brown, which is a pretty good color. It's better than the brown on the U.S. Woodland M81, but that's my opinion. Um, <laughs> and then it's got the olive green right here on a lighter olive green background, which actually makes for a pretty sweet and effective pattern. Unfortunately, this isn't in my size. I wish I could get a uniform in my size to do a camouflage test video on in the north woods of Wisconsin, but never say never. Someday it'll happen. So... Yeah, I mean, it's it's generally a really, really neat pattern, and I like it a lot. The The material actually feels really comfortable. It's a little bit heavier. It feels more like cotton, too, but I know it's a cotton poly mix. Um, but it's very comfortable. I like the Irish flag right there. It's really neat to be able to see something from a... I mean, Ireland, let's face it, it's a pretty small country, and the military is not that big. But it's really cool that they actually developed their own... Um, pattern with you know the amount of pride that they have in their their military and um it's it's really just neat because you know most of the people in the uk were dpm or now you know mtp and the irish military still wears their own design which is actually pretty fascinating so i love this pattern i i really think it's cool i just wish i could i wish it was more available in the united states especially in fat guy sizes um, but again, I'll try to track it set down. But yeah, it's just a really solid pattern. It's a woodland variant, but it's got its own little, you know, flare on it, which is really, really interesting to me. And then, yeah, it's it's definitely patterned after the, the British uniform with the buttons like that, the Velcro name tape, and then the slanted pockets. And then if you didn't see, there's also a pocket on the left sleeve. I'm kind of screwing up with the light there, right underneath the flag patch. So, yeah. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, it's kind of cool for me to actually see these camouflage patterns in person as well. Um, the material is really neat. This one's actually in pretty good shape. I'll zoom in a little bit. So yeah, um, hope you enjoy this. Hope you're enjoying the series if you're binge watching it. And uh, I don't go into super detail. I just kind of show you this pattern. This is this series is more for pattern recognition. If you're at like a flea market or, a, or an antique shop or a Goodwill or something and you see something, you can actually be able to identify it. It's not just like, you know, the in-depth 30-minute video on, on one camouflage pattern. So that's kind of the whole point of this. Um, this channel is user, or not user, <laughs> viewer supported. I suppose they're users. They use the channel for information. Um, it's viewer supported on Patreon. The link to that is in the description. It helps me be able to get cool things like this to do um, videos on and other things like uh, we do shooting videos and stuff. It takes a lot of money for ammunition and transportation, et cetera, et cetera. And my Patreon supporters are the best. They've allowed me to get some really cool stuff that I'll be making some videos on here pretty soon. And I do post a lot of exclusive content on there. It's a dollar a month, 12 bucks a year, buys you in. And uh, if you do a $5 a month or more level, you get access to my Discord server, which I'm on pretty much all the time. So anyway, if not, I totally get that. And I really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them or find somebody who knows. But uh, yeah, just leave them in the comments. Let me know what you think. And if you're enjoying, enjoying this series, um, let me know some other patterns that you'd like to see. And maybe I'll get them. I, I you know, been, it's been three or four years since people started saying, do Irish DPM. I was like, ah, it's never going to happen. Well... It happens, so never say never. So, no, I'm not Justin Bieber. Jesus. God, I just realized how much I said that in this video. Never say never. Anyway, um, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you on the next episode of Camouflage of the World.